A school crossing guard supervisor says something needs to be done to make Highway 460 and Fort Mill much safer. A crossing guard was killed back in March in front of Fort Mill Middle and Elementary School. And just this week, another guard was hit by a car in front of Catawba Ridge High School on the same road as the accident from this past spring. Well, Queen City News anchor Robin Kennedy live now in Fort Mill Parkway. Robin, you reached out to SCDOT asking about changes. So what did you find out? Alicia, I asked SCDOT if they're going to be making any changes after that crossing guard was hit here earlier this week, and they say that they're going to be taking a look at traffic counts here at the entrance to the school to figure out if any changes need to be made. Meantime, the supervisor of the crossing guards tells me improvements can't come soon enough. I started shaking. I was trying not to hyperventilate. Carmen Wells has really been through it. And I don't want anything to happen to anybody. I'm sorry. It's been a really tough year. <sighs> In March, the crossing guard supervisor lost her friend. Nobody deserves this to happen. And, and Stanley was so meticulous. I went through so much sleepless nights with that. I ca we can't have this happen again. Stanley Brucker was directing traffic outside Fort Mill Middle and elementary schools when he was hit by a car. That whole parkway, Springfield Parkway, um, Fort Mill Parkway, those are our worst p posts. Fast forward seven months on the same highway, less than four miles away. Another guard was hit and seriously injured Tuesday morning in front of Catawba Ridge High School. And we have to say that change needs to happen because the next person's not going to be a crossing guard. It's going to be a child that's going to get hit. Carmen says the speed should be lowered in school zones along the highway to 25 miles an hour. The DOT says after Brucker's death, it reviewed the speed in the area, but kept it at 30 miles an hour during school hours. The agency did not tell us why they wouldn't change it. And I'm not just scared for me, I'm scared for all my guards, every single one. Right now, Carmen is focused on helping her guard, who was hit Tuesday, get better. The guard had to have surgery on her broken femur and has a long recovery ahead. And I told her, I said, I won't leave you. I'm not leaving her because I do not. They're family. I'm not going to leave you. Carmen says the timing when the flashing lights come on in the school zones in this area needs to be better. And she also says the lights need to move out further from the schools so that drivers slow down sooner. Fort Mill police have not said what caused the crash, and they also have not told us if any charges will be filed from Tuesday's crash. I'm live in Fort Mill. Robin Kennedy, Queen City News.